Hey, Wobby Trades. I wanted to do a video analysis update of the tech stocks and the value stocks in this market. So I'm going to talk about Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, advanced market devices, and the NASDAQ QQQ, as well as Taiwan Semiconductors, Qualcomm, Intel, and Tesla. I'm going to talk about Microvision, ticker symbol MVIS, as well as IBM, Berkshire Hathaway, the airline ETF, JETS, Delta Airlines, JetBlue, Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruise Lines, the Dow Jones ETF, DIA, as well as Disney, American Airlines, and Boeing. I'll talk about Walmart, Procter & Gamble, and Binance Coin. So let's get right into it. I'll try to be quick, but first I thought there was some pretty interesting information. Uh, I wanna make sure it's very clear. I'm not making a political statement, and this is not a political channel, but there was some important information about the stock market today that we got. So on May 21st, Nancy Pelosi bought Amazon and Apple call options uh, with expiration dates of June 17th, 2022. She also bought calls on NVIDIA on June 3rd that expired on June 17th, 2022. So if you're a retail trader, you're a retail investor, what's the message that you're getting when you get home from your job tonight? Okay, it's that the stock market is only for people who have access to, you know, certain important knowledge and that if you don't have, you know, this really important information, which regular people will never have, then you'll never be able to succeed in the stock market. Okay, I don't believe that's true. Okay, so Nancy Pelosi, she was very bullish on those three stocks on May 21st. Here's what I said on May 23rd. I said that we were about to see big tech have a huge breakout and that Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA were all four putting in important wave two lows, getting ready to stage a huge wave three rally higher, okay? This was a very unpopular opinion, okay? The comments on this, you know, were not very uh, supportive, to say the least, okay? I said Amazon was going, going to 3,800. People thought I was saying that Amazon was going to Saturn, okay? The time targets were 68 weeks. I said Apple was going to 143 to 149. Microsoft to 272 to 276, Amazon to 3,800, and NVIDIA to 697. Okay, I didn't have special information. I said that Apple had a large wave one subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. The ABC correction put in a wave too low, and the length of wave one placed at the wave too low was going to take Apple to 143 to 149. Then we would have a shallow wave four correction before a fifth wave higher. Okay, I said the same thing about Microsoft. This was a wave one and a wave two we were putting in at the 61.8% retracement. I said the same thing about Amazon. A one, two, three, four, five waves impulse put in a large degree wave one. We had an ABC correction. We put in a large degree wave two at the 61.8% retracement, which is where the textbook wave two will end. So this was a five waves impulse. This was a three waves pullback at the 61.8% retracement. The length of wave one placed at the wave too low was going to take Amazon to 3,800 for a conservative wave three target. Okay, a lot of people thought that wasn't conservative. They thought that was crazy. Okay, this is NVIDIA. I said NVIDIA was acting as a leading indicator. It had a wave one, an ABC correction put in a wave too low, had a large wave one rally, and an ABC correction put in another wave too low at the 61.8% retracement. NVIDIA was breaking this downtrend line and going to length of wave one, place of the wave too low, heading to 697. So I was very bullish all four of these stocks, and I called their time targets and their price targets pretty perfectly uh, at a time when a lot of people thought the stock market was going to crash, except for Nancy Pelosi. Okay, this was not special information I had access to, neither was this. Okay, so this is a picture that I took uh, from iVolatility.com. This is completely free. This was saying right here on May 26th that Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft were at the very bottom of their one-year implied volatility range. This means that for the past 52 weeks, all else being equal, options on Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft were the cheapest they had been all year. Okay, for a very liquid options market like those stocks have, that creates a trough in demand for options. It says that a large move is coming. It does not guarantee that the move will be to the upside, but it does guarantee that there will be a large move. And a lot of times when you see stocks with extremely low implied volatility, almost always they're going to be stocks that are extremely frustrating for retail traders that most retail traders have lost interest in. Okay, so Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft, we knew, had options that were the cheapest they had been in the past 52 weeks and a large move was coming. The wave theory was very clear that move was likely going to be to the upside. So let's look at Apple right now. Pretty interesting development that we're going to see. Okay, Apple is pennies away from breaking above the January 25th high. 
so on the smaller degree i think it looks something like this this is a large wave one cleanly subdivided into one two three four five waves we have an abc correction we put in a wave too low at the 61.8 percent retracement the length of wave one places the wave too low will take apple to a wave three target conservatively of 143 that has been reached okay the textbook wave three will end at 149 from there we will expect a shallow and sideways wave four correction before a wave five higher no you will never ever short a wave four or a wave two the only waves that are traded in wave theory are waves one three and five okay let's look on the bigger degree for apple right now i think this is pretty important to talk about if we look on the bigger degree it's identical to microsoft which we're also about to go over so this is the larger degree picture for apple that this is a large wave one and this is the sideways kind of wave two or the 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 abc correction putting in a wave too low so we'll label this in a second i think it's important to note the bull flag traders are going to agree with us on apple i think it looks something like this where this is a large wave one that we put in in september and this is a wave too low that we have also put in in september so the length of wave one placed at the wave too low will take apple on a rally higher to 188 for a larger degree wave three destination so i'm gonna make these numbers bigger because they're the larger degree they're the more important degree so wave one wave two the length of wave one places the wave too low will take apple to 188 for the larger degree wave three destination the bull flag traders are going to say uh, the same thing they're going to say this is the length of wave one or the length of the first leg of the bull flag placed at the low of the flagging consolidation and that apple has broken out and back tested the bull flag okay i agree with them so let's look at the smaller degree right now and try to figure out what's going on with apple uh, from this low in September to this high right here in the middle of uh, January to late January. So I believe it looks something like this for Apple, where this is kind of the, the first part of a leading diagonal for Apple, where we have three reactions on the upside. We have three reactions on the downside. So here's what I'm looking for, you know, for the kind of larger count right now is that this is a wave one and this is an abc correction we've put in a wave too low and then apple is also on another wave one and another wave two and once it breaks above this wave one high of january 25th once it's above 145 apple will be incomplete to the upside on the larger degree but i think this is the larger degree count right here this is a leading diagonal we have three reactions to the upside we have an abc correction and we put in a wave too low and if we measure uh, this correction right here it's very clearly a wave too low because it's at the 61.8 percent retracement so this high right here is 145.09 this low right here is 103.10 so i think apple looks something like this it's 103.10 it's a it's a leading diagonal we have three reactions to the upside three reactions on the downside we have an abc correction at the 61.8 percent retracement to put in this wave too low and then this is kind of where the larger degree wave two ends and then apple has another wave one and another wave two so this is what i'm expecting for apple in the short term i think this will act as a nice template for the market this is a wave three in progress right now okay it's going to end somewhere between 143 to 149 and then i'm expecting apple to go sideways and consolidate sideways for this wave four the wave four will end between the 23.6 and the 38.2 percent retracement of wave three if wave three ends at 149 we'd expect a shallow and sideways wave four between 139 and 143 before apple goes on a fifth wave higher if apple's fifth wave higher were the length of wave one placed at the wave four low it should take apple to about 164 165. i think what's important to note once apple's at 149 we're going to be expecting in the short term some sideways price action that's pretty similar to the message that we get when we look at the nasdaq right here it's a, it's a pretty similar message okay so what i've done right here for the nasdaq is i have two 161.8 percent uh, retracements okay the first is if it looks something like this for the nasdaq uh, where it's kind of a, a nest in the smaller degree that i'm going to make an orange it's a very similar count i don't want anyone to get confused but really i think there's kind of two ways to look at the nasdaq it, it looks something like this 
either it's just like Apple and it's just like Amazon, where this is a large wave one and a large wave two. So in this count, this wave one is from about 297 to this high of about 340, and this is the wave two low. So the 161.8% extension of this whole wave one would be 370. What I've also done is I wanna make sure we have what it would look like on the kind of smaller uh, expectation where this is a wave one and a wave two. And then this is another wave one and another wave two for Apple, uh, for the NASDAQ. So it would look something like this, where this is a wave one and a wave two. And then this is another wave one and another wave two for the NASDAQ. In this instance, the 161.8% extension will be 364. So what I have right now is that we're going to look for QQQ to end this wave three from this March 5th low between 364 and 370. Okay, so it's going to end this wave three between 364 and 370. And then just like Apple, we'd be looking for some sideways consolidation. Okay, this would be the wave four kind of textbook triangle consolidation between the 23.6 and the 38.2% retracement. So if the wave three ended, ended at exactly 364, then the 23.6 to 38.2% retracement would be 351 to 342. So public trades, why don't I short? Well, wave three can extend beyond the 161.8% extension. So let's say wave three ends at 370.38. And it looks something like this. If wave three ends at 370.38, uh, 370.83, my bad, then we're going to look for a wave four consolidation to be higher. So it would look something like this, where the, the sideways consolidation would be between the 23.6 and the 38.2% retracement of about 355 to 346. We have this wave four consolidation before QQQ goes on a wave five higher. So what we're seeing right now is a scenario where if Apple's at 149 and QQQ is between 364 and 370, we're looking for that to be where a wave three ends from the March 5th low, we'd be looking for these two tech stocks to go sideways before going on a wave five higher. Okay, that's gonna affect how we look at the value stocks in a second. Okay, let's look at more of these tech stocks. Microsoft continues to be a very pretty picture. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, let's look at the smaller degree first. We have a wave one, an ABC correction at the 61.8% retracement puts in a wave too low. The length of wave one places the wave too low. We have that equal X target that has been reached of 378. The textbook place for a wave three to end for Microsoft is the 161.8% extension, which is 287. So I've kind of mapped it out on the smaller degree right here, where this is what I would expect from Microsoft. And this is really a great template for the rest of big tech. This is the wave one and a wave two. Wave three will end around 287. We'll have a shallow and sideways wave four before Microsoft goes on a fifth wave higher. If wave five ended, if wave four ended between the 23.6 and the 38.2% retracement, the length of wave one placed at the wave four low would take Microsoft all the way to the 302 area. Okay, so this is where wave five would end. So there's more upside and that's really what's more important. Okay, I think it's important to know that this is the sideways wave four that you prepare for. You do not trade wave four. You do not short Microsoft when it gets to 287. Okay, the trade is to buy Microsoft at the 61.8% retracement and take profits at the minimum target, which has been reached. Then wait for a wave four correction if it happens before riding a fifth wave higher. Okay, the trade is not to short Microsoft at 287 because in Elliott Wave Theory, you only trade waves one, three, and five. You never trade waves two and waves four. Okay, that is because the impulse of waves can extend beyond their minimum targets. I think it's important to note for Microsoft on the larger degree, this is a wave one and this is a wave two. The length of wave one placed at the wave two low will take Microsoft to a wave three destination of 296. That's important because it's the exact same thing we're looking at for Apple. And we have the path right now that will take Microsoft beyond 296. Wave one and wave two, Wave three should end around 287 before a shallow wave four correction and a fifth wave higher. So for Microsoft, 
as well as the Nasdaq and Apple, we're getting close to these 161.8% extensions. Okay, for the Nasdaq QQQ, it's between 364 and 370. For Apple, it's around 149. For Microsoft, it's around 287. We'd be looking for these wave threes to end before shallow and sideways wave four consolidation and a fifth wave higher. Let's see what that would look like on Amazon. Amazon going very well. Okay, this is what we want to see uh, right now uh, from a you know an Elliott Wave perspective. This is Elliott Wave principles at work. Okay, I didn't know anything about a Department of Defense contract. You don't have to be Nancy Pelosi to do this. You can know implied volatility is at the very bottom of its one-year range, and Amazon just had a five waves rally and pulled back to the 61.8% retracement. So we have a wave one and a wave two. The length of wave one placed at the wave two low takes Amazon to a conservative wave three target of 3,800. So what I've done for Amazon is I've zoomed out, and this is kind of what I'm looking for for Amazon. We're very close to the minimum target of 3,800, all right? You guys thought I was saying that, you know, Amazon was going to Jupiter, okay? 3,800 was the length of wave one placed at the wave two low. That's the minimum wave three target. The textbook wave three target is the 161.8% extension of 3,969. This is where we will expect Amazon will end wave three before having a shallow and sideways wave four. So do you load up the puts when Amazon reaches 3,969? No, you never trade a wave four consolidation. You have cash ready to buy the dip. Amazon's very close to 3,800, which is the minimum target, okay? So between 3,800 and 3,969, I expect that Amazon will end wave three, have a shallow wave four correction and go on a fifth wave higher. Assuming that wave three ends at exactly 3,969, wave four would be between the 23.6 and 38.2% retracement of wave three. So if we look right here, this wave uh, two low is uh, 3,127. So I'm gonna go right here, 3,127 is where we would expect the wave too low to end. So it would look something like this for Amazon. The 38.2% retracement would be around 3,647. And then we would expect wave four to end before a wave five higher takes Amazon to 4,300. Okay, so when these big tech stocks have this wave three end and pull back to a wave four, that wouldn't be the top. We would still be expecting a fifth wave higher. Okay, so for Amazon, it would end for wave three between 3,800 and 3,969. We'd have a shallow wave four correction, and then we would go on a fifth wave higher. It would be at least the length of wave one placed at the wave four low. We're still looking for Amazon to go on a wave five higher down the road to 4,300. Okay, so that's Amazon. We've done um, all of the, the tech stocks that I want to do. We're talking about advanced market devices and Taiwan semiconductors and Qualcomm and Tesla. Almost identical charts for all three of these. We'll also talk in, about Intel as well. So for advanced market devices, here's what I expect. This is the wave one and a wave two. This is a large wave three impulse, cleanly subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. We have an ABC correction. We're putting in a wave four low at the 38.2% retracement. OK, I believe that these wave five hires uh, for the, you know, semiconductor stocks are going to be the length of wave three placed at the wave four low. OK, it is an Elliott wave principle that two of the three impulse waves, which are waves one, three and five, will be the same length. So wave five will either be the length of wave one or the wave, the length of wave three. Generally, the length of wave three placed at the wave four low will take advanced market devices all the way to one hundred and thirty six. I think this wave four low is in. Okay, I think AMD has put in this low at 72.50. It is on its way to the length of wave three placed at the wave four low and aggressively by the end of the year, conservatively in the first quarter of 2022, we will see AMD go all the way to 136 provided 72.50 is not broken. So AMD is looking good. Very close to breaking above this high and that's gonna be very bullish. That's gonna confirm that all of this was basing and consolidation which is pretty similar to what Apple's about to do when it breaks above 145. So that's AMD. Here is Qualcomm. Now it's pretty interesting. So I notice I don't trade the fundamentals, but fundamentals can sometimes help you uh, with the correlations. 
I noticed that Tesla, uh, they said that some of Tesla's price movement was attributed to the semiconductor shortage. And then I looked at Qualcomm advanced market devices and Taiwan semiconductors. I noticed the charts were almost identical to Tesla's chart. So let's look at Qualcomm real quick. Then we'll look at TSM, Intel, and then we'll look at Tesla. This is a wave one leading diagonal. We've got three reactions on the upside, three reactions on the downside, and an ABC correction is put in a wave two low. We then go on a large wave three rally, have an ABC correction at the 38.2% retracement to put in a wave four low. I believe Qualcomm will go the length of wave three placed at the wave four low and go on a wave five higher to 232. I believe like advanced micro devices, this will be a uh, hit. Uh, very aggressively by the end of the year conservatively in the first quarter of 2022 i'm looking for this entire wave three rally placed at the wave four low to be replicated and qualcomm will reach 232 so that's qualcomm i expect right now that this low of 122 is in fact the wave four low that is put in so if we're above 122 qualcomm is heading to 232 aggressively by the end of the year conservatively in the first quarter of 2022 so here's intel it's a little different than the amd chart in the qualcomm chart but it's a very pretty chart nonetheless it is a wave one subdivided into one two three four five waves then we have an abc correction we put in a wave too low at the 61.8 percent retracement the length of wave one placed at the wave too low will take intel to 78 in the next four to five months so I believe the 78.6% retracement of 48.93 will act as the invalidation and stop level. Intel will hold above that level and it will go the length of wave one place of the wave too low and conservatively reach 78 in the next four or five months. So that's Intel. Here's Taiwan Semiconductors. It's looking really good. Here's what I'm really waiting for for TSM before I make a post about it. I'm waiting to see if we'll get the chance to have the IV rank and IV percentile hit zero. Okay, I'm not sure we're going to get that chance uh, when the IV percentile and IV rank are at 13 to 14% options. You know, they're not as cheap as I would generally like. Okay, but Taiwan Semiconductor, the chart is beautiful. It looks very similar to Qualcomm, very similar to advanced micro devices. I believe this is the wave one and a wave two. This is a large wave three impulse. This is an ABC correction putting in a wave four low. We want to see the 38.2% retracement of 104 not be broken for a wave four invalidation. We want to see a uh, pretty tight 107 not be broken. If it doesn't, to me, it's just like AMD and Qualcomm. We're looking for the length of wave three placed at the wave four low to take Taiwan semiconductors all the way on a rally higher. So this is another reason that I don't think that wave five will be the length of uh, wave one because if on Taiwan semiconductors if wave five were the length of wave one places the wave four low then we wouldn't break to a new high for wave five okay so wave five can't end for Taiwan semiconductors at 131 this with Tesla is one of the reasons why I think for these semiconductors like Qualcomm and advanced market devices the length of wave five will actually be the length of wave three places the wave four low and we're going to see Taiwan semiconductors go all the way to 208 it's just like AMD and Qualcomm. Aggressively, this will happen by the end of the year. Conservatively, this will happen within the first quarter of 2022, provided 104 to 107 is not broken. So that's Taiwan Semiconductor. Here is Tesla. Very similar count right now. Let's look at the bigger picture first. If you look at Tesla, it's a wave one and a wave two. We have a large wave three impulse and an ABC correction puts in a wave four low where we have these weekly wicks at the 38.2% retracement. Okay, so we have these weekly wicks at the 38.2% retracement. That tells me as a wave theorist, I should probably be labeling this low as a wave four low. So this wave four low is 539. If Tesla is above 539 to 546, I think there is a lot of upside. Okay, so I think that just like advanced market devices, just like Qualcomm, just like Taiwan Semiconductors, Tesla's wave five will not be the length of wave one placed at the wave four low. I believe Tesla's wave five will be the length of wave three placed at the wave four low and aggressively by the end of the year, conservatively within the first quarter of 2022, Tesla will stage a rally that is the length of wave three placed at the wave four low and it will go all the way to 1,370 for this wave five target. So let's look at the smaller picture right now because as crazy as that sounds, we might actually hit that within this cycle from this low of 539. So this is an ABC correction from this high. 
we have a wave one and a wave two we've broken this downtrend line we've broken this downtrend line okay similar to what i talked about with nvidia a lot of wave theorists will use the breaks of these downtrend lines to confirm the end of the corrective structure okay i think for tesla that's the case where we have ended a wave one and wave two correction we are within wave three right now the wave three target is 929 okay we'll have a wave four consolidation we'll go on a fifth wave higher there will be at least the length of wave one so if tesla's wave three ends at 929 we'll have a shallow wave four correction before going on a fifth wave higher for a high beta stock like tesla there's a pretty good likelihood that the wave three will go further than the 161.8 percent extension of wave one okay we're pretty close to seeing tesla break this april high okay the bears think they still have tesla in control okay so remember the bears think that tesla is a one two three four five waves impulse from this peak to put in a wave a they think that this is the counter trend a b c uh wave b so what they're looking to do the bears are looking to do they're going to look to replicate this entire rally this wave a uh down downtrend they're looking for this to be the five waves down they're looking for this to be the the three waves counter trend rally so what the bears think right now is that tesla will not break above the mid april high okay a lot of stocks that trade with tesla have already broken above this mid uh, april high okay first solar is moving identically with tesla it broke above uh, this mid april high recently a lot of growth stocks have gone out and broken to new highs the lithium batteries etf a clean energy etf has broken above the first quarter high many software stocks have broken above this first quarter high apple we are about to see break above this first quarter high okay i think tesla right now is lagging the market uh, which is pretty rare but i don't think that's gonna last i think tesla is about to play a big game of catch up in a big way but it's important to know what the bears think so the bears think this is a one two three four five waves impulse wave a this is an a b c correct correction they're looking for the length of wave a place the wave b high to uh, go and take tesla down on a wave c lower they're looking for the 535 la wave flat and they're looking to make sure that 780 is not broken the reason that i bring that up is because it's always important to know you know what the opponent thinks but it's also important to know when 780 is broken a lot of bears are going to get caught off guard okay there's a lot of people and a lot of stops right here at 780 and once we break above it we will have confirmed that this is wave one and this is wave two tesla is within wave three heading to 929 looking for a shallow wave four correction and a fifth wave higher so we don't want to see tesla below 546 to 539 if it doesn't this is a huge pick to be a large outperformer not only the rest of the summer but the rest of the year so that's tesla here is microvision i really like this microvision chart very pretty very pretty microvision chart right here large wave one subdivided into one two three four five waves an abc correction puts in a wave too low the length of wave one place of the wave too low will take microvision ticker symbol mbis to 32. so this rally is from 11 2 to 216. okay that's only three or four months that we have this large rally i think in the next five to seven months if we're holding above this low of 10.08 then this is going to be a valid wave too low the length of wave one place of the wave too low will take microvision to 32. one reason i kind of like it as a long-term pick as well because that is the conservative wave three target we would look for a shallow wave four correction before a fifth wave higher so the levels for microsoft uh, for microvision which i think is having a deal with microsoft but anyway is getting um is getting it to hold above this low of 12.22 and this low of 10.08 so this is the wave one an abc correction puts in a wave too low at the 61.8 percent retracement then microvision broke this wave one high so it's confirmed all of this was consolidation and this wave two is in it had another wave one and another wave two now i believe it's within another wave one and another wave two so i measured the length of this wave one uh, from 12.22 to 24.69 and if you look right here we're at the 78.6 percent retracement so if we're above 12.22 to 10.08 then these wave two lows are in and microvision will begin wave 
three of wave three of wave three and have an explosive move higher. So I really like Microvision. That's probably my favorite growth stock setup at the moment. So love Microvision. The length of wave one places the wave too low. If we're above 10.08 to 12.22, it's heading into the 30s in the second half of the year. So that's MVIS. Let's talk about these value stocks. So everyone thinks value's done, right? I'm gonna FOMO into I'm gonna FOMO into all these tech stocks that we just talked about when Microsoft hits 169, when Amazon hits you know 3,969, 3,969. We're looking for a sideways and shallow wave four. When Apple hits 149, we're looking for wave three to end. We're looking for a shallow and sideways wave four. Okay, that wouldn't be the top. Remember, that would be the wave four consolidation before a fifth wave higher. When Microsoft, this is the clearest picture for big tech, reaches 287, we're looking for wave three to end. We're looking for a shallow and sideways wave four before a fifth wave higher. So we're looking for a lot of these big tech stocks in a little bit, right? Remember, we never short this. You only anticipate and prepare for it because it's a wave four. We're looking for a lot of these kind of big tech stocks to form basically bull flags, right? The classical traders are going to call this a bull flag. And there's just going to be that debate. But this is what we're looking for for way four for Microsoft, that these big tech stocks, you know, digest these gains. When Microsoft is near 287, it would end wave three, consolidate sideways into a bull flag for wave four. So when big tech is going sideways, what could be happening? I think we know the answer. I think this sector that everyone isn't really too fond of right now is going to start to resume the lead. Okay, so I still love the semiconductor stocks. I still love a lot of the clean energy and growth stocks, but I also like the value stocks. And I don't think they're done. So here is IBM. This is the wave one. An ABC correction puts in a wave too low. IBM breaks the wave one high, confirms a wave three in progress. So the wave three target is the 161.8% extension of wave one, which is the 163. Okay, so this is the wave three larger degree target. It looks very cleanly subdivided right now into one, two, three, four, five waves. So the impulse waves in Elliott Wave Theory are waves one, three, and five. They are subdivi subdivided into five smaller waves. So this larger degree wave three is subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. So this is wave one of wave three, wave two of wave three, wave three of wave three. Now we're ending wave four of wave three. We want to see IBM hold above the 38.2% retracement, which is 134. We also want to see this wave four hold above 135. If it does, we're looking for IBM to enter wave five of wave three. The length of wave five would be the length of wave one, place the wave four low. And then the target would be in the next two and a half months that IBM will reach 163. So IBM looks good to go to 163. I want to point out IBM's implied volatility is pretty high right now. Okay, so I think it's more better as an indicator because generally when options are expensive like this, here's what I mean. If you go to the price overview, you can see the IV percentile and the IV rank is 58% and 43%. Okay, I like to see both of these numbers kind of below 5%, right? Like when Amazon and Apple and Microsoft were at 0%, I was really harping on them uh, because the implied volatility was at the very bottom of its one-year range. Therefore, the options were the cheapest they had been in the past 52 weeks, all else being equal. So IBM, we're at 58% to 43%. Options are a little pricey. But if you look at IBM right now, it is a very clean count. This is a uh, wave one and wave two, wave three and wave four, the length of wave one. Place the wave four low. We'll take IBM on a wave five higher, wave five of this larger degree wave three to 163. We want to see 135 and 134. We don't want to close below those levels. Okay. I think the Dow Jones ETF DIA is going to be a really important chart for a lot of industrial investors. But that's IBM. It's another uh, value stock. So the value stocks, the banks and the tanks. Here's a financial. Here is Berkshire Hathaway. Clean count right here. Wave one and wave two large wave three impulse we have an abc correction we put in a wave four low between the 23.6 and the 38.2 percent retracement so pretty tight 272 is the wave four low berkshire hathaway berk b will not break below 272 and it will go the length of wave one places the wave four low we want to see the 38.2 percent retracement of wave three which is 266 also not be broken okay if it isn't the length of wave one places the wave four low We'll take Berkshire Hathaway to 310. That's another one I think gets hit by the end of this quarter. So 
It's it's all over the the banks, the tanks, the value stocks. They're getting ready to stage rallies higher. At the same time, when QQQ is between 364 and 370, we're looking for some sideways consolidation for big tech. I think while big tech is consolidating sideways, we see IBM, we see Berkshire Hathaway, we see these airlines and these cruise lines start to, you know, take some leadership back in this market. Okay, so that's Berkshire Hathaway. Here's the airline ETF, JETS. Very important chart for a lot of airline investors. And the reason I say this, if we look at the Carnival Cruise Line chart, we look at the American Airlines chart, we're getting close to what would be a stop level, okay? Uh, so I think the airline ETF is a pretty important chart. This is a wave one and a wave two. The 161.8% extension of wave one is the wave three target, which is where it ends. Okay, this is exactly where wave three ends. Taking the 161.8% extension of wave one is where wave three ends. We have an ABC correction and we put in a wave four low. We're right now at the 38.2% retracement. For a wave four, you want to see the 50% retracement hold. You want to see the wave one high hold. Okay, those levels are 100 are, are 21.95 to 22.10. So we want to see JETS hold above these levels and go the length of wave one, place to the wave four low, head on a wave five higher to 34.27. Okay, another chart I think is pretty important for the airline investors is Boeing. So Boeing, this is what I have for Boeing, that this low right here of 219 is a pretty important wave two low so this is a large degree wave one and a large degree wave two we have broken above this wave one high if you connect the beginning of wave one with the high of wave one and the low of wave two i believe that this large wave three this bold black number this wave three will not end until we, we reach the median of this pitchfork okay so the classical traders say the bigger the base the bigger the breakout and I think it's important to remind us that the larger degree wave three target is all the way up here at the median of this pitchfork. Okay, many value stocks have broken above what we would call uh, the pre-March 2020 sell-off highs. Okay, many value stocks have broken above this same high. I believe that Love, uh, Southwest Airlines, and JetBlue have already broken above you know, their pre-March 2020 highs. Okay. Boeing, I expect, will play catch up, and so will American Airlines. The large degree wave one and large degree wave two has a wave three target, which is the meeting of this pitchfork. Okay, that's gonna be way up there in the 350s to 400 range. So, when the bigger the base leads to a larger breakout, I think the frustration ultimately will be worth it. So, this is a wave one and a wave two. We've broken above this wave one high. So for me, this is a wave three in progress on the smaller degree. I wanna make these smaller numbers red, just so we know that they're a different degree. So this is the larger degree, the large black numbers. The small black numbers are the smaller degree and the red numbers are the smallest degree. So we'll go through the counts one by one, okay? The larger degree wave three ends at the meeting of the pits of work. The smaller degree wave three is the length of wave one placed at the wave too low. That would take uh, Boeing all the way to 296. Okay, the textbook wave three target for this wave three is the 161.8% extension, which is 307. So we also have a wave one in red and a wave two in red. So we want to see Boeing hold above 219, confirm this is the wave too low. If you measure this wave one, then wave two ended between the 61.8 and the 78.6% retracement. So I think Boeing is going to go the length of wave one place of the wave too low. And then the wave three target is 305. So 305 to 307, I think it's going to act as a magnet for Boeing. Okay, we really want to see this low of 219 hold in the short term. Okay, if it didn't hold, we would definitely want to see this low of 190, you know, two, 193 hold. Okay, I don't think we even need to think that far. Right now, if Boeing is above 219, the length of wave one places the wave two too low. We'll take it on a wave three higher to 305, 307. Okay, so I think that Boeing above 219 is a very important level for all airline bulls. Here's Delta Airlines. Um, it's another one that's going to give an important level. We have a wave one and a wave two. We break above this wave one high. So the wave three target is the 161.8% extension. Okay, that was 49. 
Uh, then we have an ABC correction, and now we're at the 38.2% retracement, which is about 41.62. So for this wave four, it's very similar to the airline ETF JETS. We want to see 37.24 and 38.33 not get broken. Then Delta Airlines will go the length of wave one, places the wave four low. It will reach, in my opinion, it will reach a wave five target of 61. Okay, so a lot of wave fives to 61 for Delta Airlines, a wave five higher to 34 for uh, Jet, for the Jets ETF, JETS. We're looking for a wave five higher for Berkshire Hathaway to 310. Okay, wave fives across the market. Here's JetBlue. Uh, it's sort of breaking down right here below the 38.2% retracement. So this is another one. I think Delta Airlines and I think JETS are going to give better levels for the stop levels just because we're getting close to this wave one high. But this is wave one. We have an ABC correction. We put in a wave two low. Then JetBlue goes on a wave three impulse past the 161.8% extension. We're having an ABC correction right now. We're at the 38.2% retracement. We need to see 15 hold and we, we need to see JetBlue go on a rally higher. It's another one where I think that the Jets ETF holding above 21 and Delta Airlines holding above 37 to 38 and Boeing holding above uh, 219 is going to be very important. So I'm looking for us to hold above 15 and then JetBlue to go the length of wave one, place of the wave four low, head to 24, 25 for a very conservative wave five target. Okay, the deeper this wave four correction, the further the wave five is going to be. Okay, and that is because the computer algorithms for a wave five very often will take the inverted retracement of wave four to find their wave five target. So they'll take the negative 21 point, they'll, they'll take the negative 123.6% retracement to find their wave five target. So the deeper that this wave four goes, the further that the wave five target will be. So in classical trading, they say the bigger the base, the uh, bigger the breakout. In wave theory, it's the deeper the correction, the further the extension. Okay, so the deeper this wave four goes, the further the wave five is going to be for JetBlue. So let's look at American Airlines right now. It's another one. We're getting pretty close to what I would call a stop level. So I think the JETS airline ETF above 21, Boeing above 219, and Delta Airlines above 38 and 37 are going to be very important levels. Let's look at American Airlines real quick. This is a wave one and a wave two. Uh, we've broken above this wave one high. I believe we are heading to the 161.8% extension uh, of 31 before a shallow and sideways wave four. And then we're looking for a fifth wave higher. So in the most conservative view that I have, we will see American Airlines go all the way to 31, have a shallow wave four correction, and then go on a fifth wave higher. Ultimately, I am conservatively looking for American Airlines to head to 38. So with that in mind, it makes sense that this is a very frustrating you know, consolidation period before we head into the 30s for American Airlines with Boeing. Okay, we're getting pretty close to this two to this 19.64 low. We probably want to see this hold. If it did break, we would look for an ABC correction to be something like this, where the length of wave A place of the wave B high is where wave C ended. But this is another one. I think Boeing above 219. I think Delta Airlines above 37 to 38. I think the airline ETF jets above 21 is going to be very important. Okay, let's talk about the cruise lines right now. Here is Carnival Cruise Lines and Royal Caribbean. We'll start with Royal Caribbean because it's giving probably the better uh, invalidation level in the short term. So it's very similar to IBM where we have a wave one and a wave two. And then the, the larger degree wave three target is 110. So this is the larger degree wave three target is the 161.8% extension, which is 110. I believe this large degree wave three is subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. And I'm looking for right now, I think we want to see the, what I, what I have on the smaller degree is that this is a wave uh, four ending right now. So the 50% retracement for Royal Caribbean is 72. So I think we want to see Royal Caribbean hold about 72 to 75 and this is going to act as a pretty important validation level for Carnival Cruise Lines because Carnival Cruise Lines is getting close to this low. Okay, so when we look at Carnival Cruise Lines, I'm going to say that the 72 uh, level on Royal Caribbean to the 75 level is a level we really want to see hold. We also want to trade Carnival Cruise Lines with the travel and leisure stocks like the airlines. They're going to move together. 
okay i think royal caribbean is going to 110 before a shallow wave four correction and a fifth wave higher if we look at carnival cruise lines right now similar story if we look at carnival cruise lines is another one where we're pulling back i think we want to see you know for royal caribbean it's going to act as a probably a better invalidation level just because carnival cruise lines is getting close to this low of 23.72 we want to see Royal Caribbean above 72 to 75. We want to see a lot of these travel and leisure stocks be traded together, especially the airlines and the cruise lines. They're going to move together. And I think that Carnival Cruise Lines will go to the 161.8% extension of wave one to 36, have a shallow wave four correction before a wave five higher ultimately takes Carnival Cruise Lines into the 40s. Okay, so I'm looking for a lot of upside for Carnival Cruise Lines and American Airlines. We'll talk about the options market in a second. But I just want to get these levels out. I will acknowledge right now for the airlines, I was expecting a large melt up in this sector uh, by the end of July. Okay, we're getting close to the end of July. So if we don't have a significant melt up in the airlines by that point and the cruise lines, I will have been wrong about the melt up uh, from a timing perspective. But I still think the price targets are going to end up being hit. Okay, so here is walmart and procter and gamble then we'll talk about the options market uh, for the cruise lines real quick so this is a large wave one for walmart it is very cleanly subdivided into one two three four five waves we have an abc correction we put in a wave too low and then the length of wave one place of the wave too low is going to take walmart all the way to 178 okay this is very similar to uh this is very similar to procter and gamble what i also think is important to note is that we've seen two really important consumer stocks like nike and amazon consolidate sideways for a very long time and have huge breakouts this quarter i think walmart and procter and gamble are going to follow those stocks so i want to see walmart above 132 to 129 i think it heads in the second half of the year to a wave three target of 178 goes to the median of this pitchfork it's got an identical count to procter and gamble where it's it's really identical i mean if it was a rorschach test i would fail this is the wave one, very cleanly subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. We have an ABC correction we put in a wave too low. The length of wave one placed at the wave too low is going to take Procter & Gamble to 174. I think pretty aggressively that's going to be complete. By the end of the year, it's going to move with Walmart. I'm looking for some action uh, in Walmart and Procter & Gamble. And I'm looking for, you know, this consolidation to be over. And we're going to start following Nike and Amazon in the consumer side of the market, as well as the value side of the market. So we're going to hold above 128 to 125 and procter and gamble will head to 174. i'll talk about the dow jones edf dia real quick this is probably a pretty important one for all of the travel and leisure bulls to watch so on the larger degree we talk about this a lot this is a wave one cleanly subdivided into one two three four five waves we have an abc correction we put in a wave too low the length of wave one places the wave too low we'll take dia ultimately to a wave three target of 372. 372 is the destination I believe we're going to get there because this is a wave one and a wave two this is a large wave three impulse past the 161.8 percent extension now we're finishing an abc wave four at the 38.2 percent retracement so we want to see 332 hold and then dia the industrials will go the length of wave one in place of the wave four low we're about to break that wave three high and have a wave five rally higher to 384. so i think this is another one the airline bulls and the cruise line bulls are going to want to see play out okay everyone's falling asleep on this sector before we talk about binance coin let me talk about the options market in this sector real quick okay we have been seeing on the bar chart straddle and strangle screener that uh, the options um market has been saying that they're going to have a huge move for the past two months okay so i just want to show you guys what happened the last time that this whole sector was on this screener for a month okay this picture right here is from February 1st, Boeing, Boeing, Carnival Cruise Lines, Boeing, United Airlines, Carnival Cruise Lines, United Airlines, and Carnival Cruise Lines, all over the bar chart straddle and strangle screener. This is from February 1st, okay? Notice also the banks were all over the screener. Bank of America, JB Morgan, multiple readings, okay? They had huge moves after being on the screener, okay? This is a strangle and straddle screener. They will have a large move. The wave theory is saying it will be to the upside. But the point is that this picture is also from January 15th, two weeks before. Boeing and Carnival Cruise Lines and Norwegian Cruise Lines and Boeing and Boeing and Carnival Cruise Lines and uh, Royal Caribbean, right? And Norwegian Cruise Lines and Carnival Cruise Lines and MGM Casinos, okay? The reopening stocks were all over this, 
uh, strangle and straddle screener for a month. Okay, they were wearing out investors, but ultimately they did have a huge rally higher. I'm saying that because the same phenomenon is happening right now. Okay, the cruise lines, the airlines, they are extremely frustrating. This picture is from the very end of December. Okay, Home Depot, but Norwegian Cruise Lines and Boeing and Lowe's, uh, but also Norwegian Cruise Lines and Carnival Cruise Lines and United Airlines were all over the screener. So for a whole month, the uh, the banks and the tanks were all over the bar chart, straddle and strangle screener. They wore retail investors out, but the options market was telling you they are going to have a large move. The reason I bring that up is because for the past two months, we have seen the airline sector and the cruise line sector all over the bar chart, straddle and strangle screener. They will have a large move. I believe it will be to the upside. We can see right now, Boeing and Disney are on the screener. Also note, Marathon Patent Group and uh, Intel and Qualcomm, some stocks that we talk about are on the screener. But Marathon Patent Group is all over the screener. So is SOS Limited, okay? So that is the straddle screener. You find it by going to options, long straddle and long strangle. The point I'm trying to make is that the options market knows retail traders are worn out of the cruise lines and the airlines, but it also knows they are going to have a large move. The screener also filters for open interest. Okay, so you have to have high open interest to uh, be on the screener. That's why a lot of times we see stocks all over the screener before we have large uh, news stories come out. I think the wave theory is agreeing with this right now. Marathon Patent Group all over the screener, all right? Crypto bulls, you have to know about this, that Marathon Patent Group is all over the screener, okay? Here is Boeing again. Here's Carnival Cruise Line again. The airlines and the cruise lines have been on the screener for the past two months, okay? So let's talk about uh, BNB, Binance Coin. Now that we've made the point, Marathon Patent Group is saying the crypto miners are going to have a large move. I believe it's going to be to the upside. Here's kind of our crypto coin of the day. This is Binance Coin, ticker symbol BNB has a large wave one from 11.4 to uh, May 5th or May 10th, okay? This is a seven month rally. It's very cleanly subdivided into one, two, three, four, five waves. Now an ABC correction puts in a wave too low at exactly the 61.8% retracement. So I believe BNB Binance Coin will hold above 212 to uh, 225 and it will go the length of wave one places the wave too low. I believe seven months from now, we are going to hold 212 to 225 and BNB is going to go to 874 for the wave three target. Okay. Bitcoin and Ethereum bulls are going to want to look out for this, but Binance coin, this is a very clean count, huge wicks and exactly the 61.8% retracement. Okay. Wave two, I believe is in, okay. 212 and 225 are this wave too low, right? Wave two scares you out. This definitely scared people out of crypto. I think we're getting ready for a monster wave three higher. There will be at least the length of wave one place of the wave too low. This is Binance coin, ticker symbol BNB. It's lining up across the crypto sector. This is a monster wave too low we put in. This whole rally gets replicated in time and price and BNB pretty conservatively in the first quarter with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, replicates that whole rally and goes to 874 for the wave three target.